Academy, Centre Number 61805, uh, Oscar Howard, Exam Number 2096. I play a dad, uh, anger, a boss, and a random man. My name is Seaton Bartholomew, my exam number is 2017, and I play as the game friend. Uh, John Wars Academy, my name is Luanda uh, Mawaro, exam number 2135, centre number 61805. Oh, and I play as uh, the main character's best friend. Please don't tell me you're still sleeping. Uh, who is this? It's Sebastian. Oh, hey, sir. What's up? We're going to be late for the interview. What interview? The job. The job? Yes. Wait, wait. That's the day? Yes, obviously. I'll, I'll be right there. Okay. You better not be talking to that mate of yours. So, where are you going again? Uh, to the IT interview. Then who's it you going with? Uh, with Seth. Oh, he's the, the gay one. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's the gay one. I don't know why you're friends with him, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't know why you just can't be supportive. Well, it's Christian, it's part of your job, really. Yeah. Do what the Bible tells me to do. Yeah, yeah. And it's good what the Bible says. So, why are you really friends with him? Well, Seb was a normal kid with good grades and who lived with his uncle. He didn't really have much friends, but he always had his uncle to look at as a father for him. However, lucky for Seb, me and him went to the same school, and as his first friend, it felt like we were just naturally brothers. However, the faster me and Seb grew, the older his uncle became, to the point where he wasn't able to take care of Seb. However though, Seb got to the age where he was in college and he met his college roommate. And these guys lived together whilst his uncle was resting by himself. See that? I was just friends with him since primary school and you know since because of his uncle situation. Well, his age. Well then me and him just came a lot closer, you know. Uh, still don't understand why it doesn't make sense why you wouldn't be friends with a gay person. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, we're gonna be late, so I'll see you later. Yeah, right. Hello? Seb, you there? Yeah. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the park. Where are you? Uh about Fifth Avenue. Oh, okay. Don't be late, okay? Yeah, just give me like five minutes. Yeah. Have you have you got your script? Hello? 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 Seb, Seb, I can't hear you. Just text. Give me just five minutes. Don't be late. Don't worry, sir. Yo, Seb! There you are. What's up, man? Good. Um, do you have your script? About that. Don't uh, worry, check on your phone. Oh shoot, yeah, you did send it to me. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Um, what do you think of my sexuality? What, that you're gay? Yeah, because you know your dad doesn't like you that way. Alright, I'm sorry. Alright, alright, alright. Right, 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 right. right, what are you not talking about? That I'm gay. Really? Right, so listen, over there on that bench, it's my wife and my kid. We don't really want to hear you yapping about your gay pride and all that. So, I'll be taking volume levels down, or you go. You don't own this park. Don't try me, mate. Uh, excuse me, do we have a problem? Uh, no, 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 no
massive. Uh, no, we don't. Um, just, listen, just keep the volume down, please, mate. Don't want any yeah, trouble. Yeah, I'm about these common people. Guys, you could have picked any part and you picked the one. This one. All right, well, Jordan, yeah, mate. Sorry, what, what were you even saying? Don't worry, let's just get to the interview. I've got to say, though, this script you wrote is sick. You know, I'm done. 
I can't keep with you, you, your gay community, your, I don't even know, your parade, your month, everything. I can't. What the fuck did you just Who say? Who the hell are you pushing? You be so Don't you dare finish that sentence. Just like your father. Goddamn piece of hey! No need for that package. There's plenty of other people that look out for you. Like me. I can I'm always there for you. You're barely even in the house. Yeah, it's because I'm trying to support you. I'm trying to make ends meet so we can live. Yeah, that doesn't help. Nothing helps. Oh dear. It was up there. Nothing. He left us when we were at our lowest point. Really, really considered him a friend. When he left us, we were there for him since day one, day after day. What did he do for us? Nothing. He left us. We didn't leave him. Yes, don't think like that. Remember our uncle? He was there for us when he couldn't take care of us. Since we were kids, we were like brothers. And what, you just want to let that go? We should let him go! What is he to us? He's our friend! He's dead to us now! He's dead! He's useless. 